Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, we're gonna be checking out the scariest, evil, most demented games. And boy, you baby, that daddy. Your mission today is to click the subscribe button. We're almost at 400,000 subscribers. So if you want to help the channel get there, just click the subscribe button. Go ahead, do it now before the world blows up. Go, go, go. And yeah, comment down below something scary. You can put grandmas, you can put cockroaches, or you can put booty. Let me know. And let's go. We gotta go in the dark. All oh, the lonkies. Look at the lonkies. Yo, oh. so these are the lonkies, huh? The ones that are supposed to be really strong and like laboratory produced. Like these guys are a joke, dude. Oh. How am I supposed to be scared of these guys? They're so cute. Oh. Ah! Wait, wait, gosh dang it, man. That thing didn't even scare me. It was you, a homeboy, who scared me. Jeez, out here screaming and everything. Your mom must think you're crazy. You look like you're constipated. Gosh dang it, man. Eat some more raisin bran. You need more fiber in your diet. That way, you know, it makes going to the bathroom, going pee pee a little easier. How many times do I need to slap the beard off your face, man? I mean, if you scream like that again, it's over. I'm gonna call your daddy, okay? And then I'm gonna tell him that you need to be grounded. Nice shirt, by the way, you jerk. Terrifying games you don't want to play part 21 the whisper man game if you win this game You will gain protection from all physical threats for the next seven years But as usual if you lose the consequences will be extreme what to play this game You will need to gather seven items of personal significance Every night for the next seven nights You'll need to leave one of those items on your windowsill on the final night, you'll need to lay down the item you consider to be the most important on the windowsill while saying the words, Whisper Man, come receive your gifts. If nothing is outside your window the next morning, then the game has failed and you can try again later with different gifts. However, if you see a ghostly white figure in the distance, the game has begun, and this is where you'll need to be careful. For the next seven days, you will be chased by the mysterious Whisper Man. He can only move when you are not viewing him, and he moves quite slowly. If he does not catch you in the next seven days, he will be tethered to you and forced to protect you. However, if he does catch you, he will claim your life and your soul. This game might sound easy, but remember, he can move while you're sleeping. And if you lose sight of him for an extended period of time, well, good luck. Heck no, man. I sleep for like 12 hours, so he definitely catch me. And that's what he looks like in the background? Bro, what you smiling for? You want to fight, bro? I mean, dang. Well, knock him with, hit him with the left hook, hit him with the uppercut. Let's see if you smiling after that. Maybe he's smiling because he has gas. That's what babies do. Babies, they'll be like, weird smile, but it's because they, they, they gassy. I oughta slap the smile off your face, man. Scaring people like that. And how many times do I have to tell you in the front to shave your mustache? I mean, I guess I need to shave mine a little bit, too. So, you know, we in the same boat. But no, I'm not playing that creepy game. I mean, geez. You want that thing, that ghost thing following you? Only people I want to follow me is y'all on Instagram. Like, follow me on Instagram, at DangMattSmith. Come on. Hello? Can I have a snack? Um, I mean, I'm a snack. <laughs> and don't you dare say I'm pretzels. I'm not pretzels. I'm barbecue Lay's chips. I hear somebody. Oh my god, I hear somebody. Wait, I hear somebody? Wait, I'm the intruder. <laughs> yeah, you dumbo. Oh, intruder here? It's not even my fucking house. Hello, hey, make yourself language. Known. Make yourself known in your own house, please. Oh, key. Let's go. Found the key. Yeah. Into the garage and steal the car. Into the ah! What the heck was that? Is there a satanic ritual going on in the garage? <laughs> what, the, out of all places? You choose the garage. Like, do the sacrilegious stuff in the basement. Don't you know the garage is where I park my car? Come on now, I'm not trying to have to, you know, deal with yo yo demon rituals right now. This girl look like she's sucking on a straw. Like, like what, what, what are you doing, girl? That's how you get scared? <laughs> Come on now. Still waiting on you to respond to my DM, girl. We could have been on our 50th date by now. We could have had two kids by now, but I mean, but but you playing, so. You should never play this scary game. Wait until it's midnight, and then go into the bathroom, turn off all of the lights, and lock the door. No. Hold your arms as if you're cradling a baby. Then you're going to look into the mirror and repeat baby blue 13 times. You'll eventually feel a baby in your arms, and this baby will grow and get heavier. You also might feel it squirm and hear them cry for their mother. After saying baby blue 13 times, you'll see a hideous woman in the mirror. She will scream your mama? and ask you to give her baby back. This is when you need to dispose of the baby. If you don't, she'll try to drag you down to- 
drop the baby in the toilet, flush the toilet, and run out of the room. Heck no, girl. Why would I go to the bathroom, cut off all the lights? I need lights to see while I'm taking a pee. You know what I mean? I know I got time to be playing games in the bathroom. When I go to the bathroom, I'm there to handle business. I'm constipated, man. So, uh, I mean, I have a friend who's constipated. So, you know, it, it's tough for him or her. And you're telling me there's a demon lady that's going to try to drag me down with her. And, uh, good luck. I weigh 185 pounds, girl. You ain't gonna drag all that. You ain't that strong. Mm -mm. Ain't no demons that strong. <laughs> like y'all be going to the gym, really? They got a gym in the underworld? Get out of here. I think I broke the fourth wall. I woke up in a room with a computer and, and the pizza. Heck? You got out of the game. Bill. And then you respond. I'm tripping balls. <laughs> what are you? No, when I jumped off the map, when I jumped off the world, it sent me to real life. I knew I was real. <gasps> oh my gosh. You need to be shot. I'm sorry, girl. Like, jeez, you can't be running up to people like that. Running up and scaring me? No, not today. Your eyes are too dang big. I mean, gee, like, you need eye surgery to shrink them just a little bit. You look like a video game character. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You look like you're trying to convince people you're not crazy. It's not working. Oh, you crazy. Good luck finding a pair of glasses that's gonna fit your big ol' eyes. <laughs> Dang, here we go. This terrifying horror game was never released outside of Japan until now. Let's talk about Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. This is the fourth Fatal Frame game in the mainline franchise, and we originally got this back on the Wii only in Japan. Now it's been remade for almost all modern platforms, and we finally get to experience it. And let me tell you, this game is horrifying. The visual and audio design ah. of the ghosts in this game is nothing short of nightmarish. And due to the way the gameplay works, you have to get as close to these ghosts as possible in order to deal the most damage when you take a picture. Of them. No, I don't. If you aren't familiar with this franchise, that's how you fight ghosts in this series. Even though there are jump scares in this game, the focus is mainly on the atmosphere and the sense of dread and tension that builds between each ghost encounter. You want me to take pictures of these demon ghosts? I'm pretty sure they don't want to be tagged on Instagram. If you see a demon ghost like her looking at you, uh, don't be like, uh, uh smile. <laughs> N no, you leave her alone, okay? You get up on out of the house, you drive far, far away. And then you toss a grenade back in the house and you blow her up. Blow her to smithereens. I hope you like explosions, girl, because you're going to be in it. <laughs> oh, he heard you. What does that mean? What language is she speaking? Ah! Oh my gosh, girl. Ah! Run! Jeez. Are you laughing or are you crying? What a shame. Ah! Girl. Girl, you're screwed. I'm sorry, but y'all suck at hide and go seek. I would have been gone, baby. You, you, you're supposed to put on your Nikes and you're supposed to be running real fast and far. Girl, I could see your gold tooth from here. Like, what the heck? I've never seen someone that terrified in my life over a game. Calm down, girl. Jeez. Aren't you supposed to be picking up your kids from school? What, you forgot about them again? <laughs> That's all right. I mean, it's no wonder you forgot about them. If I saw that face, uh, <laughs> I would have forgot about them too. I hope you kids like daycare. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But you're gonna have to be at daycare until your mom's done playing the game, so. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Don't talk about my booty like that. <laughs> It's a paranormal game people play at sleepovers. The goal of this game is to make the person's body light enough to lift easily. In other words, to float. This game is said to be incredibly dangerous though. And they say you will attract bad luck if you play it. To play this game, you need at least five people. What? Step one, dim the lights and place a chair in the middle of the room. Step two, one person sits in the chair and the others stand around the person. Two at the person's arms and two at their legs. Or if you want to do it the other way, without the chair, everybody has to sit down on the floor and the person will lie down in the middle. 
and everybody places their hand under the person's body. So someone will tell this person a horrible story, a made up story about how they died and how to be creative. At the end of the story, everyone chants, light as a feather, stiff as a board. You have to say it over and over and the person's body is supposed to float. The idea of this game is to have the person in the middle feel like ghosts are helping to lift them. Would you play this game? Do I look like I would play this game? Yeah, you kind of look like you would play this game. Light as a feather, stiff as a board, uh, no thanks. I'm playing Monopoly, baby. Okay, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't doing all this. This is what y'all do at sleepovers, trying to summon demons and ghosts. It's not worth it, man. I mean, I want to see the ghost lift somebody who's 500 pounds. Ghost's going to be like, Ugh, you know what? Never mind, it's not going to work. Oh, don't. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what was that? I've never seen that one before. That was a new one. Are you serious? What is she angry at? I mean, geez, is this what girlfriends look like when they're hungry? <laughs> You need to calm down. Like, did she just see somebody bring home some food or something? So she was like, woo! Jesus. That girl left quicker than a black man. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one.